say, man, keep that boy Ross in your prayers, bro. Let's go on to pay respect to that squad. Notification game check. Well, we lit then. What's popping? All right, fam. All right, ball checking in here. And today we have a lot to discuss. Now let's jump right into it. First off, salute the notification game. Hit that like button for the start. Got a real art right, fan salute. Anyway, up first, we got that boy, Rick Ross. Okay, so this not gonna be a long video, bro. Just a quick little update. I want to let y'all know what's going on before I head out, dog. Now, as we all know, Rick Ross has had a history of seizures. He even spoke about it in one of his songs. That's why you've been seeing Ross get in shape so he won't be getting ill and basically trying to keep his health in good standing. Now, sadly, it's been reported that Ross was found unresponsive in his home. The 911 call was made around 3.30 a.m. and the person said Ross was breathing heavy and unresponsive. They also stated they tried to wake Ross up, but he was only slobbing out the mouth. Now, according to TMZ, Ross was taken to the hospital by ambulance and receiving respiratory treatment for possibly pneumonia. One person close to Rick Ross said that the medical issue is heart related. DMZ is saying this will allegedly went down. Credit to them for breaking the story. My prayers go out to that boy Rick Ross and his family. Shake back, Ross. We need you out here, bro. I need y'all to comment down below. What do y'all think about this entire situation? Up next, we got that boy, Walker Flocker. Now, if we think back years ago, Walker used to go through a similar situation as that boy Takashi, bro. Because a lot of people used to go at him about the music he made and other things. Now, Flocker is coming out speaking up for that boy Takashi, basically saying that all the old heads that going at him doing a little dry snitching, bro. He made it clear he's not trying to get between any beef Takashi got going on. He's just speaking his opinion. Now, I'm going to leave y'all with that video. Once y'all get done watching, I need y'all to comment down below. Is Walker right or not? Also comment down below. What do y'all think about this entire situation? Be sure to sub up to the channel. Also follow me on IG and Twitter. Links in the description. I'm out of here. Oh, uh, ball. Go. I told my little homies I ain't going to say nothing. I'm a lot of people, but I'm not the biggest 6ix9ine fan, but the young nigga making some cool music. And a lot of niggas don't like how this little nigga making music. I understand it. I'm not in the middle of none of y'all little niggas beef, but to hear a lot of people say, yo, he fake. He only moving around because he with the high 20 and he with big homies. And to me, y'all motherfuckers dry snitching. Y'all niggas letting the cops know and the whole world know that 6 9 were real gang bangers, real big homies. So now it makes the cops or whoever want to fuck with them in a bad way, not no street shit. We talking about some some dry snitching shit. A lot of y'all niggas out here really dry snitching. Yo, watch your fucking mouth, man, because shit could turn on you trying to turn over on another nigga. I told my little homies I ain't gonna say nothing. I'm a lot of people, but I'm not the biggest 6ix9ine fan, but the young nigga making some cool music. And a lot of niggas don't like how this little nigga making music. I understand it. I'm not in the middle of none of y'all little niggas beef, but to hear a lot of people say, yo, he fake. He only moving around because he with the high 20 and he with big homies. And to me, y'all motherfuckers dry snitching. Y'all niggas letting the cops know and the whole world know that 6ix9ine were real gang bangers, real big homies. So now it makes the cops or whoever want to fuck with them in a bad way. Not no street shit. We talking about some, uh, some dry snitching shit. A lot of y'all niggas out here really dry snitching. Yo, watch your fucking mouth, man, because shit could turn on you trying to turn over on another nigga.